Hello everyone and welcome to the DPB Podcast. I am your host Ryan Mondes with DisneyPinsBlog.com, the latest news on Disney pin trading and collecting from the world. This is episode number 198 for the week of October 5th, 2020. Welcome to the Disney Pins Blog Podcast. We'll go back to the show, everyone. It's been two weeks since I had a podcast episode go up. So again, like always, I'm not going to be covering everything in the past two weeks. If you want to see all of the Disney pin news, just head over to the blog section of the website. The direct link for that is just DisneyPinNews.com. I don't have any housekeeping today, so let's get right into the pin news. First, we're going to start off with Loungefly. They just posted a preview of the limited edition pin releases for the month of October 2020. And I'll mention all of the Disney-themed releases... Uh, starting this week, we have Deadpool, that's LD1000, and an Oogie Boogie sliding pin, which is limited edition of 2000. The uh, edition sizes have been increasing on the uh, Tuesday releases. Skipping over uh, the second week, that's a Beetlejuice pin, uh, but coming back on October 20th, is a Disney Villains pin, and this thing looks incredible. Chernabog is featured in the background, and then you have Maleficent, Jafar, Hades, Captain Hook, Cruella de Vil, Evil Queen, and Ursula. That is a spectacular looking pin. Limited edition 1500. And then ending off the month on October 27th, we have Vampire Mickey. It's like a little coffin on the front. It says, do not disturb. Then you open it up and you see Mickey on the inside as a vampire. Limited edition 2000 on that one. And then next at Loungefly, we have two new lanyard card holder pin set releases. We actually have these at dpbstore.com if you guys want to check them out. Uh, the first one features Toy Story. They are in the Funko Pop theme. Comes with a colorful lanyard and four different pins. You have Woody, Buzz Lightyear, Forky, and Rex. And then the second one features Marvel. Again, you get a lanyard with this one and four pins. Uh, the four pins feature Captain America, Incredible Hulk, Thor, and Iron Man. And you have your card holder piece at the bottom as well. Next, we'll head over to Box Lunch. They've been pumping out a lot of new pin releases. Uh, first up, you may have seen a few for the Disneyland 65th anniversary. Uh, the first one's really cool. It's a uh, mystery pin set of like a uh, puzzle piece map. You have different attractions on there with Sleeping Beauty Castle in the center. One pin per box. Retail price is $9.90 for that one. Then there was a standard Disneyland 65th anniversary logo pin that released. Next up, there are a few new Coco banner pins that released. These are very colorful, with three different ones featuring Miguel, Ernesto, and Dante. There was also a brand new mystery pin collection that released. This one is called Disney Princess Sidekicks. There are nine different pins in this collection, all with the uh, sidekick characters uh, next to reading books. Uh, very nice collection there. And then finally at Box Lunch is a new pin for A Bug's Life, this one featuring Heimwick. And our retail price on that is $8.90. Next we'll head over to Hot Topic. They just had one new pin release. This one features Lilo and Stitch and it's a lenticular pin with uh, Lilo and Stitch dancing in their little hula outfits. Next we're actually going to head over to Target. Haven't seen any new pins at Target for quite some time, uh, but they actually just released a Disneyland 65th anniversary pin set. Um, this one features the castle, the Disneyland marquee, a pin that just says 65 years of magic, and then a Mickey Mouse pin. Four different ones there. I think that one's actually produced by Funko, and the uh, retail price is $11.99. Next, we'll head overseas to Disneyland Paris. We also got their preview calendar for October 2020. The new pins this month feature Mickey icons with different uh, country flags. We have a new set of the Disney Princess as Babies collection. A really cool Sorcerer Mickey pin. Um, a few new lanyards. Aristocat pins. Baby Yoda. And then the uh, next carousel pin features Jasmine. That is a monthly collection at Disneyland Paris, as well as the World's Best Friends. That's also another monthly collection, and uh, this month features Solly and Mike Wazowski from Monsters, Inc. All right, now we'll head over to Disney Parks in America. First thing I want to mention is the uh, Tiny Kingdom Mystery Pin Set Series 3 just made its way over to Disneyland. Um, it did release at Walt Disney World last month, actually on September 1st, and then one month later on October 1st, they released at Disneyland. People were spotting those at Disney's Pin Traders at Downtown Disney. Next, this is pretty exciting. There's actually a pin sale going on right now at Disney Parks. 
on select Halloween and Nightmare Before Christmas pins. They are just $5. So that's like 50% off. And then if you have an annual pass and you use your 30% off, you can get these pins for very cheap. There's a few uh, Nightmare Before Christmas pins featuring Jack and Sally, and then a Zero pin, and then the uh, Halloween ones that were included, I think were the uh, Star Wars pin with Bubba Fett, and then the Marvel pin uh, for Halloween this year as well. It's not all of the Halloween pins, like the whole new collection with the glitter background, I don't think those are included in the uh, $5 sale. Just a few pins there, I think it's like four or five pins, so, but still pretty exciting. Next, there's actually two surprise pin releases at uh, Walt Disney World this past week. The first one is a continuation of the Celebrate Today collection at Disney Parks. This one features Goofy for National Taco Day. This is the 10th release in this collection. Limited edition of 4000 retail price $17.99. I'm not sure if this one's going to be appearing online at Shop Disney. I don't think so. I think they're starting to release more in the parks now. It seems like every week we're starting to see more and more surprise releases um, that are limited edition pins and uh, it seems like less and less on ShopDisney.com. But we'll see. I think it's just going to be like a split right now between surprise releases at Disney Parks and the uh, Thursday releases at Shop Disney. Speaking of that, this week on Thursday, we do have one pin release. It is the Merida Fall 2020 pin. This is, of course, the third pin in this series. Spring and Summer have already been released. That was the Rapunzel and Ariel pin. And then we have Merida for Fall 2020. So that will appear this Thursday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on ShopDisney.com. So that's all of the pin news I'm going to be covering in this week's podcast episode. Again, if you want to see everything, just go to DisneyPinNews.com. That will take you to the blog section of DPB. All right, now for Disney Pin Chat. I wanted to talk about probably the uh, most popular item in the past two weeks, and that is Hidden Mickey Pins at Disney Parks. They are back, and they have been renamed. They are now Cast Hidden Disney Pins. And Series 1 for 2020 has already been released at Walt Disney World. I personally haven't seen any yet. I've been trying to uh, search them out, um, but it seems like they are going pretty quickly. I've checked at the pin board at Epcot, a few of the different resorts. I checked uh, Contemporary Resort and Beach Club. I checked most of the pin boards at Animal Kingdom, and I just haven't seen them yet. I'm assuming they all go as soon as the park opens or early in the day at the resorts. But it is exciting for the return of Hidden Mickey pins. We do have the flyers up at Disney Pins Blog in case you missed it, but I'm sure most of you have already seen them by now. I know whenever I posted that, that was a very, very popular uh, blog post. Uh, we do have the sheet for Disneyland, but they aren't on the West Coast yet. At least I haven't heard any reports of them being out there. Um, I don't think there's actually any pin trading going on right now at Downtown Disney. Correct me if I'm wrong on that, but I don't think there is. But we do have the sheet for Disneyland when they do reopen or decide to get a uh, pin board at Downtown Disney. And the reason why they're called Hidden Disney Pins now is because it encompasses the entire Disney brand. It's not just uh, Mickey or you know Disney focused anymore. They are going to be including Star Wars, Marvel, and Pixar as well. So that's why it's called Hidden Disney now. But they still have the little, you know, Hidden Mickey icon on the pins. I'll share the Walt Disney World flyer right now on the screen, um, since these are the ones that have been spotted and most people are getting now. It's the uh, Carnival masks. Those are really popular. They uh, remind me of the pins that were released at Mickey's of Glendale back in the day. There is a Star Wars droids. Uh, pin set, Marvel Icons, Pixar A Bug's Life with the uh, like little leaf with the movie logo on it and characters next to it. The next one is the uh, Castle Phil collection, which I love this set. I think it's my favorite one. It's like the silhouette of the Cinderella Castle with the you know, different designs on it. And then the last one is a set of Lion King characters. So I'm going to keep checking here at Walt Disney World. I'll be sure to let you guys know whenever I actually do get some. I'm sure I'll post on the uh, DPP social channels and maybe do a separate vlog on that. But uh, yeah, just wanted to share it with you guys here on the podcast and on YouTube in case you missed it whenever I posted the flyers. But yeah, that's going to do it for episode number 198 of the DPP podcast. can't believe we're creeping up here to uh, number 200. That's crazy. And I uh, just realized I celebrated five years of the DPB podcast last month. That's nuts. It's been seven years of DPB and five years of the DPB podcast, so pretty crazy. But yeah, episode 200, 
right around the corner here. As always, I appreciate the support. Thank you guys very much for listening or watching here on YouTube. I hope everyone has a great week. See ya.